Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Aquarius, is through the comments. Also, uh, if you do if you do enjoy this tarot reading, Aquarius, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would really appreciate it if you would give this video a like and subscribe, Aquarius, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys give me that extra support it would take the time to give me that extra support rather uh but remember aquarius this reading here is just here for some food for thought a perspective to consider because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you right uh you know the situation better than i ever possibly could so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever and this reading we're going to get into your general your financial situation as well as your love and social situation aquarius if you're interested so check out the timestamps below if you want to look at those in specific but they all kind of go together flow together i feel like so all that being said aquarius enough of my rambling let's get into your weekly tarot reading today so i pulled some cards for you just so i could get a situation or an idea aquarius of where you are at right now so we have the empress card archangel gabriel uh if you're open to working with archangels uh, aquarius be sure to uh connect with them you know i only like to you whatever your spiritual practices are honey if you are open to it do it if you're not then pay it no mind i just like to let it be known what you do is none of my business write down the number three though this is my business honey write down the number three and look it up for numerology later aquarius uh, there's going to be a pop quiz later if you don't, so. Uh, <laughs> page of Air or the Page of Swords, Aquarius, because sword is air energy. Two Archangels popped up. So Archangel Sandophon, same thing, working with Archangel Sandophon. Write down the number five as well for numerology. And then you have the Eight of Air or the Eight of Swords, Aquarius. So all first impressions, Aquarius, you guys are really in your head right now. This is just such a time of being in your head. Almost, I can't help but feel like this could be a situation where you're in your head about a social situation. Maybe you feel like you don't belong. Uh, my Aquariuses feel like they don't have a purpose. Maybe, yeah, it's very much so like not having purpose energy, feeling like they don't have a purpose or feeling as if um, you just don't belong in some way, Aquarius. Especially with this page of swords here, this page of air. You don't know how to really communicate this. In this situation i don't know if something's like happened in your life aquarius recently maybe just like current events or just you know just people being pe like everyone just existing but this empress card comes in kind of like signifying a little bit of um just this is all kind of like being like oh through because of like some tough times there's almost as if like maybe something has happened uh for you that really has changed weirdly the dynamic of facets of your life that maybe you didn't anticipate or maybe you did and it's just like one of those things where it's like uh the elephant in the room and trying to overcome it so let's see how these cards are should be laid out right now you we're gonna start with here and then here and then here and here all right <laughs> so we're gonna start with your empress card uh, Aquarius. I'll read it off to you. This card says, lavish in a lavish abundance, giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others. I do feel like this sense, Aquarius, with this card, um, there is, you want to reach out to somebody. There's some, there's like this sense of where it's like through this chaotic time, there's just something that you want to reach out to somebody. There's this sense of like desire or comfort. You're searching for like a silver lining or like a thread of something to just have hope for it to something that will keep you motivated to keep growing in some way right this is about like a career maybe you're feeling down in the dumps about a career uh aquarius or like what it is that you're doing maybe you're just like hoping to have just like wake up that one day and just like see like uh all your hard work just paying off and you know your work being seen and appreciated right so let's see what cards we have for this <clears throat> All right, so we have coming in for you the Four of Cups Aquarius, the Hanged Man in the Reverse. Is it in the Reverse? Yeah, it's in the Reverse. As well as the Ace of Swords. So Aquarius, 
Um, this is gonna be, you know, I'm gonna have to give you guys a little bit of tough love or, you know, be your auntie for a moment. Uh, cause I, one, I acknowledge how obnoxious this might sound as well, Aquarius. But Spirit's really trying to give this message of where it's like, through whatever happened, Aquarius, let's just, like, whatever elephant in the room happened that changed the dynamic of things, that's shifted things in your environment, shifted things with a social situation or what have you. Um, it's, Almost as if spirit wanted it to happen or try to set it up this way because they're trying to have you see something or trying to redirect your energy in some way. I do get the sense that they're just trying to like focus where it is you're looking at. I can't quite tell though if it's about uh, where it is you're going or trying to have you see something else, right? Or what and washing your hands clean. I can't really tell. But in this dynamic, right, you have the four cups here where if you look at this card closely, don't mind my nails are naked right, <laughs> right now, but you look at this card closely, you see spirit, I see spirit as like this cloud and this is you Aquarius. You have the, this situation here, right? You're, you have what you see, but then spirit's trying to offer this other cup to you, have you consider another possibility in some way Aquarius and that I feel like would just give you like new ideas, right? Because the Ace of Swords talks about new creative ideas, uh, Aquarius. So, but I, you know, as this individual, they're keeping their eyes closed to it. They're not seeing what's being offered by spirit. They're not seeing this other cup as obvious as it might feel, right? Or it seems, right? It's one of those things that's in plain sight. You just have to shift your perspective of where it is you're looking or just open your eyes to the possibility, right? Keeping your mind open, Aquarius. Uh, with this hanged man in the reverse, this lets me know if, like, similar to this Eight of Swords energy, which we'll get into more later, Aquarius, but with this hanged man in the reverse, this lets me know if someone's not able to see a different perspective that doesn't really want to, uh, commit to one thing or shift the, what it is that they have been doing, Aquarius, or what, like, maybe even, like, a thought process as well, like, their approach on things and how they view something, right? especially the dynamic of these other cards. It just kind of overall, with this Empress card and these clarity cards, uh, uh, clarifiers rather, Aquarius, this lets me know where it's like, <sighs> something's trying to build character in you, Aquarius, and I just can't help but feel like there's some part of it that you're just not seeing and being able to appreciate. Um, take that as you will though. Let's get into this Unity card. Uh, Archangel Sandalphon, remember to look it up though, that numerology. Uh, traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual organization, and seeking out mentors and like-minded friends. Now, I am going to be honest with this one, Aquarius. I don't really feel comfortable speaking because there could be probably about like three or four ways this card be, can, can be translated. So I, before I run my mouth too much, honey, um, and go on my t usual tangents, I want to just pull some cards and just see which path this card is trying to be taken in. <sighs> Oh, honey. <laughs> All right. So clarifiers for your unity card, Aquarius. We have the devil card. We have the eight of cups in the reverse, as well as the nine of cups in the reverse. <sighs> Aquarius, I mean, just, oh, honey. So I'm trying to think of how I want to say this. Aquarius, if I can't help but feel like Maybe like a social situation didn't pan out in a certain way that you would have liked it to. And you're really trying to fight for it. You're really trying to be like, oh, I don't want to walk away from this. There's something you don't want to wa walk away from. That's kind of like the bane of your existence right now. That's really like not having you feel good either is the thing with this nine of cups here in the reverse. You're not feeling good about it. But you're not also walking away from it. You're not putting distance between it because it's like you're scared of the unknown. Maybe for some of you Aquariuses, this could be like a situation. Honey, this is going to be like a storyline that I'm getting here. But this is like a situation where it's like for some of you Aquariuses, you don't want to move out. Um, because like you don't know if you can get a place just as good. Um, but the situation that you're in with this devil, you know, it doesn't mean like, I know devil really criminalizes things. And you, know, you could feel like they're a criminal, <laughs> but um, I get the sense of where it's just like an annoyance, we'll just say, because I don't like villainizing anyone in readings. And I, you know, that's my own personal thing. I'll stop myself before I get into rants about tarot readings and villainizing. But like, 
It just is like an energy that's not meshing something that's not good for you. But you don't want to put distance between it because it's like the moon card, when it's in the upright, you'll notice the moon here, right? Taking a chance on something and moving on. But you are clinging on to it in some way. You're, maybe you're clinging on to people or clinging on to a situation and you don't want to move on from it. Maybe for whatever your reasoning is, right? I'm just saying because you don't know what's out there and you just, you know, you don't know if there's something better out there for you, right? Because that is what the Eight of Cups does. Is like you're leaving a current situation that seems fine right eight of cups full eight cups filled but it's not ten cups right you want ten cups or it's not the cups that fulfill you 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 know clearly it's not because of the nine of cups being in the reverse for you in the upright you're feeling fulfilled and sitting happy you're not here so this is taking that chance even though you don't know what's around this mountain right you're being like uh i'm gonna leave this source of water to go and hope that there's bigger and better waters ahead for me all right, so really work with Archangel Sandafon Aquarius because I really do feel like uh, he would, he's always the Archangel that brings people together that like are like minded. He's the one that will give you this beautiful just connection with people that uh, are good for you, for your path at the time, uh, at the current time that you meet them. So really we'll be open to that. And then let's get into this page of air or this page of swords for you, Aquarius. This card says challenging information, delays or changes to plans, which we kind of been hinting at this entire time, uh, truth delivered without tact. So again, it seems like a situation, you know, notice this wasn't even intentional, um, but it's like, I used the reference from before, like talking about like an elephant in the room that changed the dynamic. It's like one of those things that like something bad, like something happened, someone felt deeply hurt that changed the dynamic of everything. And now it's like kind of this thing that no one talks about. It's all in, in the air. Like the tension is just there. You could cut it with a knife, honey, but you don't know how to like change things up, right? This card here leads me, lets me know where it's like, you're really intimidated Aquarius on shifting things and moving, shift, moving the boat around too much, right? Because it just feels like maybe I heard like so much is on the line. I don't know if so much is on the line for you, Aquarius. And that's why like you're clinging on to it. So, uh, but yeah, hmm. I'm not going to say that. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. I'm crazy. Uh, so nine of cups in the reverse with the three of pentacles in the reverse. So oh, Aquarius, king of cups. So in this situation, there's some situation Aquarius that you're keeping, you're just clinging on to and you're just, you don't want to let it go. Right. But it doesn't feel good. Right. This three of pentacles, nine of cups energy. Like, you don't want to work with them. It doesn't feel good. And this King of Cups here, where it just feels like every single time you put energy into this, it feels like it takes all of your effort, all of your energy to make it work when it, it just is not in the stars, baby, for this to work out anymore. Maybe it did at one point, uh, Aquarius, but now you kind of have to be truthful and be like, hey, like, this just isn't working anymore, right? Um, because I don't see it working out. I don't see you like, thinking it's working out either. Right. I like, I don't like, it's weird. Like, cause I don't see you in denial about this. You're clearly admitting that. So just like, uh, eh, yeah, this, this is not good, but you don't, right. You feel trapped in some way. This is what this eight of air I told you about that we get into Aquarius or the eight of swords. This says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So yeah, you feel trapped in a situation. So, you know, maybe you're in a living environment that just isn't pleasant, but you don't want to leave it. Libra, why am I calling you Libra? I just did Libra, that's why. You don't want to leave it, Aquarius. So let's figure, let's see what detail we can get though. This is such a, it bums me out. I'm feeling like protective of my Aquariuses because it's like, you want to just so badly break free from something, but it's just like, something is just like, there's that, I'm not going to be that tarot reader that does songs, start singing songs that come to mind, but it's like, something's just like holding you back with that one. If you know the song, you know the song. It's like an early 2000s holding me back song, but um, that's all I'm leaving it as. So uh, <laughs> let's get into this. So clarifiers for this Eight of Swords, Eight of Air. We have the Page of Swords for you with the four swords in the reverse, as well as the knight of pentacles in the reverse for you. I'm gonna be honest here, Aquarius. This is going to be like a message of where it's like, you're not going to, you feel trapped in this situation, Aquarius, but, and maybe you're just like panning it out, being like, oh, I'll just like wait a couple more months, save up a little bit more money. Maybe this housing situation, apartment situation will look better. And you're just holding out for hopefully things just, 
somehow working out. It's not going to happen, right? I'm going to be honest here. At least the storyline that I'm getting, right? And I don't want to defeat everyone's hope, but in tarot, it's not giving me the sign, right? You're being pushed with the Page of Swords to speak, right? Page of Air coming in twice for you because this is, you know, Page of Air is the Page of Swords. So truly, truth delivered, there needs to be an honest conversation. You know, you can't be afraid of hurting feelings, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles uh, and shows to me in the reverse shows to me you don't want to do it. You don't want like confrontation and makes you uncomfortable. You, you feel like you just shouldn't deal with it. But Four of Swords shows to me like I don't feel like healing is going to happen and, until you do it, right? Even if you tell yourself now, Aquarius, you're just like, ah, I don't want to communicate. I don't want to do anything about this to shift the boat. Like... I just don't see the situation improving just organically. I see there needing to be some, like, instead of watching, some speaking action needs to happen, right? I don't see anything else changing uh, right now for you without there just being, like, you needing to lay down the law in some way, Aquarius. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to now get into my Aquarius's love and career readings. So... If you are interested in hearing about your love situation, Aquarius, let's get into it right now. Love and social situation, I'll say. It's already in, like, I feel like with the Archangel Sandalphon, we kind of got an idea of what social situations this week are looking like, Aquarius, but... Uh, Archangel Ariel, the strength card, makes sense. Release card, honey. All the... <laughs> ah! Aquarius, you got all the major arcana, and, like... I'm like, I pulled through so many different tarot decks and it's all giving me the same message, Aquarius, where it's like, you know, the strength card is my shadow work card. This is like the trauma card. This is like, you know, someone that's like having to work through like some traumas, right? Maybe like before you're stuck, in, you feel stuck in this situation because you're afraid of upsetting people because like some, some type in your childhood, maybe like, you know, like when someone's, you know, you get the point, Aquarius. I don't need to go into detail. So it's like a common theme. Maybe you're just like, why do I always attract the same type of people, right? The release card and the magician card, again, is showing to me where it's like, you need to like have a conversation. You need to like address the elephant in the room and let go of something, Aquarius. Because I don't like, I is even like, this really impacting your creation. It's really like stopping the flow of energy for more than just like your love and social situation, Aquarius. I feel like it's all enveloping. Like this is really such a huge blockage that you need to address um, and just let go of, even though it's like one of those hard choices. So. Uh, I wish I could give like a happier like message with this Aquarius <laughs> truly um yeah so let's now get into my Aquarius and their career situation now let me write something down real quick Aquarius forgive me but let's see what's going on financially in your life right now Aquarius <clears throat> Ooh, did we get too many cards no we didn't I get y'all just get four cards with this all right so you guys got the page of water three of water cups by the way uh seven of air or the swords in the hermit card so for this being in your career it's looking good but it's almost like editing needs to happen you need to get into like it's like you need to rather than keep on going aquarius i feel like you need to take a moment just to hit the pause button and to look at like maybe you have like a bunch of ideas going on right now right especially with this page of water this page of cups so many different things sound really good to you aquarius and i feel like this the sky's the limit for you but i can't help but feel like you need to take a pause the hermit card and then the seven of swords tells you to make like revisions um more going on that meets the eye and poor timing i can't help but feel like aquarius for you guys <sighs> hmm I feel, yeah, I just feel like you guys need to take a po moment to pause, really, like, ha develop a game plan for what you want to do next, and then commit to that, right? Get your get your thoughts organized, because then um, Three of Water comes in as that victory card celebration. Dare I say, uh, it's a collaborative sign of collaboration, especially because the Three of Cups that represents multiple people, right? You look in this card and there's multiple dolphins. Dolphins are social creatures. They're always around people. 
perfect. So take that as you will, Aquarius. I like what, overall, like I like the energy that you're in. You just need to go through this final rough patch that I feel like some of you guys have just been avoiding. You know, but you guys got this, Aquarius. I know you do. You got this under control. But that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius, this week. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Aquarius, I do the weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, not just yours. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not honey, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much.